world. Here we are, Ray, in the ruins of uh, one of the earliest stone castles in Britain, uh, the home or founded by William Fitz Osborne, the great mate of the Conqueror. He certainly was. Commander of one wing of the Norman army at Hastings. Uh, he's one of his most trusted allies, I think. Yes, yes indeed, yeah. And this castle along with the Chepstow represented the thin end of the wedge as the Normans started their campaign of conquest. Well, yes, but it was no pushover, was it? After the, after the Battle of Hastings, English resistance to the Normans pretty well collapsed. And the Welsh fought them then for another two centuries. Arguably even longer than that. You only have to think of Owen Glyndwr. <laughs> yes, a, a great hero. Uh, that's 150 years uh, later, isn't it? Most of the country rose in rebellion under the historic uh, and heroic Owen. That theme of fierce resistance is an important strand in the history of the region, isn't it? That's it, yes. Well, the, uh, of course, the Saxons, before the Normans, didn't find the British a pushover. I mean, it took them 200 years of hard fighting to get to the Severn, and then, of course, another 200 years to reach the Wye. And by then, of course, the Normans overtook them. But we're standing on evidence of resistance to an even earlier invasion, aren't we? Oh, yes, yes. So the hill under our feet has been raised a bit for the construction of the castle. But the location of the site of, is inside a Roman fort and, and inside the town of Glastion, which was one of the uh, well, which was the site of one of the earliest Roman forts in Wales, middle first century. And they really had a torrid time from the local tribe, the Siluris. That's right. It cost them a quarter of a century of hard fighting, and of course the loss of a legion. Yeah, the Roman historian Tacitus reported battle followed battle in the Silurian War. Mm -hmm. A remarkably successful guerrilla war. One of the most tenacious in history, indeed. It's quite a story, and we'll find more about it as we go through the town. Yeah, probably best to move on now. Mm -hmm.